satisfy your need for happiness through your own curiosity with the Ranveer Show. Let's talk about slip disc. Cut. Yeah. Very common problem. Yeah. Um, what is a disc? Lovely. A disc, for people who are from the western part of India, there is a fruit called a targola. <laughs> it's got a tender coconut-like outer surface and it's got fluid within. It's like a lychee. It's like a lychee. Correct. So the lychee targola. But why am I saying targola? Because it resembles a disc. Okay. The dimensions of a targola are much akin to a disc. And when you peel off that targola, it actually looks and feels like the disc. Jelly. Absolutely. And for those who have had this delicious fruit, as you are peeling off that targola, occasionally in the gentle process of peeling it off, sometimes the surface breaks and fluid comes out. That's exactly what the disc is like. It has fluid within called the nucleus pulposus and it has that tender coconut consistency out which is firm called the annulus fibrosus. So when you are subjecting that targola or the lychee to vertical loading, the fluid within pushes its way outside the confines of the outer surface. Hmm. And in the slip disc, especially younger people like you, since the outer tissue has got elasticity, it doesn't allow the fluid to come out easily. So you don't get a slip disc as easily. As the outer surface gets weaker, that is the elasticity is lost and that structure becomes plastic. Now what is the difference between these two words, elastic and plastic? Elastic, elastic is comes back to its original form. Lovely, that's it. It's based on the modulus of elasticity hmm. where once the deforming force is removed, it can regain its shape and size. That is elastic. While plastic, even after you remove the deforming force, doesn't regain its shape and size. Mm. So when the disc, which is elastic, is subjected to load, it can not slip or may not slip. But if the disc becomes plastic, and at one point it may get more plastic, just like a puncture tire, one area is weak, <laughs> pops out from there. That's where that fluid, which is the nucleus, pops out. That's a slip disc? That's the slip disc. And that causes two effects. It physically hits the nerve, which is called mechanical pressure. As in the jelly? The, exactly. Okay. The jelly hits the nerve physically and it causes some chemical irritation around the nerve. Really? So both these things cause that radiating leg pain, initially back pain and then radiating leg pain or neck pain and arm pain. Chemical effect on the nerve. Absolutely. What does that mean? Well, the proteoglycan, which is the content of the fluid within or the nucleus, is an irritant to the nerve. So it not just physically hurts the nerve because it's occupying the territory belonging to the nerve. It's an unwelcome guest, but it's also causing chemical irritation to the nerve. Like what? Like burns it? Sort of burns it. True. So what effect does that have on your... It causes burning sensation down the leg, pain down the leg, altered sensation, tingling numbness. Because all, because all these things that you're saying are feelings processed by the brain. Absolutely. So actually it's happening in your back, Yeah. but your brain can't make sense of what's happening. So it shows you as, listen, something's happening in my Absolutely. leg. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like your brain and your spine are alive in themselves. They, they have are. their own consciousness. Brain is the last thing that dies. Today, what is the definition of death? Brain dead. You're mm. not declared dead unless you're brain dead. Biologically, what is death? Biologically, death for me is inability to perform your functions and as defined today is after your cardiovascular and respiratory, that means your lungs and heart stop functioning, the brain also stops functioning. What's the time difference? Like how much time does it take? There is a lag, but I would not necessarily know the specifics and give you an objective answer to that. But yes, mm, these two are still in that phase where they may be transitarily arrested, but can be revoked or called back while the brain, gone. once gone, is gone. I mean, you've probably read about the Wim Hof effect. 
where this ice man has controlled his blood pressure controlled his uh, uh, pulse and um, you know managed to keep himself uh, on the arctic ring and on kilimanjaro not getting cold been in an ice bucket for 122 minutes so these are things which you can control if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip